Welcome back everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to import data inside Strategy Quantex. Of course, uh, SQX comes with its own data sources like uh, Yahoo, Ducas Copy, and uh, Bitfinance, I think, for crypto. You can import stocks, uh, indexes, ETF, and uh, currencies. Uh, but for futures, you need either to subscribe to the service inside SQX, or you can import the data from an outside source. So if you have a platform like uh, PlayStation or uh, Ninja Trader or Interactive Brokers, you can export the data from that platform inside Strategy Quantex. But if you're just trying SQX for the first time and you don't have any external platform, today I'm going to show you a free way to export futures data and import it inside SQX. So I'll see you inside. So if we go to investing.com, you can create a free account. And if you go to market, commodities, real-time commodities. This is the list of commodity with historical prices. As you can see, for example, London gas oil. This is not available in trade station. Or uh, rice. Or uh, let's see. Uh, I think oats is not there and lumber, if I'm not mistaken, and aluminum. In any case, even if it's there, let's go with this one. This is free. So we want crude oil. Now this is br not Brent, this is the WTI. And if you click on it, then go to historical data. If you click on the date, then just pick an earlier date. For example, I don't know, January 1st, uh, 19, 30 let's say and hit enter and it will load the uh, earliest date so the earliest date is you have to scroll down all the way uh, let's see so this is 83 yeah so the earliest date they have is uh, March 31st, 83. So the latest is uh, March 10, 2003. Let's keep that date in mind. Let's download this file. This file, and it's saved. Now we need to, the date after this date. So it's March 11, 2003. So March 11, 2003. And now we have this. It's loading. Okay, now we can download. So now we have two files that has all this data. By the way, we did download the daily time frame. And uh, the paid version, you can uh, download the uh, high resolution. Uh, and of course, uh, in Strategy Quant X, it will build automatically the monthly and weekly or any other uh, day for that matter. Okay, now we need to clean this data. So, uh, let's start with the, let's go with this one. So as you can see, uh, this data is not acceptable inside strategy context. For example, this one has the letter K for thousands and then M for millions. This is the volume. And the date is text. So first of all, we click on the date and we pick short date. So now this is formatted as short date. And then we pick on these prices and we select as accounting number. So now it's formatted. The price is the close. And the change percentage, we don't need it as this is calculated automatically by Strategy Quantex. So I'm going to delete this. And now we need to format this volume as a number because that's the only way that Strategy Quantex is going to uh, accept it. Of course, you can just delete this column and just have the data without the volume. But uh, I'll, I'll show you like an easy way to clean it. So obviously this is a 
like 5,000 lines. Okay. So you don't, you cannot like just go and delete every K and then multiply by a thousand and delete every M and multiply by a million. So let me show you a trick how to get to change this text and dot to the actual numbers. Just write the uh, the numbers before the K, 76.89, 61.13, 61.14, 61.15, 61.16, 0.73 that should be enough so now if I click and drag and click on this autofill option and pick flash fill and you see now it's it found out what it needs now I need the letters so uh, first of all let's continue this double click and then click this flash fill now changes all of them. Now let me put new column. So now again, I will enter K, 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 K. Four will be enough. Drag some. Flash fill. It's all K. And then flash fill. And they're all OK. Now. I need to write an if statement. So if this is K, then multiply this by 1000. Else, if this is M, which is in million, equal M then multiply this by 1 million. 1, 2, 3. Else, it's this number only. And we close parentheses. And here if, I forgot here, G2 equal K. So if G2 equal K, then multiply H, which is this one by a thousand. Otherwise, if G2 equals M, then multiply it by a million. Otherwise, it's just G2. Okay. And this will be done all the way down. So pick this, copy, and then when you come here, you want to paste it as values okay now we get rid of all this delete and save so we clean this one. Oh, and uh, one more thing uh, strategy quant x needs this data to be sequ sequentially from low to high and currently it's the opposite as you can see the data here the latest data is on the top can see so to reverse it you can uh, click on the cell go all the way down pick this and then just say sort all this the newest okay save same here pick the first one go down to the last one shift click and then sort and then all this to newest and this is it and save okay now we go to strategy Quantex data manager instruments and you can add an instrument called uh, whatever you want to call it, let's say uh, crude WTI. It's uh, futures and uh, WTI futures, WTI futures, and 0 0.01 is minimum tick, 
and the point value is 1000 so for every uh, dollar that the uh, the instrument moves in this case the crude then the futures will move one thousand dollars and it's two and a half dollar per trade save now we go to data and uh, we need to create a symbol so I put uh, crude oil from investing.com it's futures and then we will pick uh, the instrument uh, the sorry the benchmark uh, the uh, base we're gonna use it on crude WTI and it's future all this is fixed you cannot change it and save now this new instrument it's empty we're gonna load the data inside these are the free uh, and paid uh, data suppliers uh, since we imported uh, we exported from a file we need to import it here so click and then import file and then we browse and pick the Excel sheets uh, it's on my second monitor here select there it is and usually you will face with a custom template and this custom template you pick what you want so you skip row one because it has these uh, names in it and the separation is comma you pick the date format and you name so uh, you name these so this was the date and close open high low volume and so forth then you save it and this is your template start importing and it's completed the first one so now I pick it again and import and now I'm gonna pick the second sheet and I pick the template and it will know that it will pass uh, the, da the data just uh, So now this instrument has data from 1983 to 2020. Uh, now if you can go to uh, tools and you pick this data and you say view and analyze. This will analyze the data you just import. Okay. And it will give you this is a sample. It's daily time frame, no session. And it will analyze the data. So this is very good in the way to check the data integrity. So for example, you will see that uh, there are no gaps. And a gap doesn't mean that there's a gap between the price of yesterday and today. Gap means that there are no gaps in, in days. For example, you know, uh, let's say you missed Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday data. Okay. And then you have these red bars and in each year these show some problems so for example there are spikes nine of them and there are uh, bad open high low close there are 48 of them and you see the number of uh, percent of data imported this is uh, negligible so you can ignore it especially when it's not here if this is spike, this is spike, we know where the spike is, is yes? So this is just happened a couple of weeks ago, I think, where the price dipped below zero. And so the integrity is very good. And of course, this is the list of all this. So I can show you that, uh, for example, if you go all the way here, this will be the spike, see? It's a spike. And if we extend this spike this candle is more than 5x bigger than average yes but it was true same here same here low value high value but usually they are okay now we have the data to do any test on it so now if you go to builder and you pick uh, playstation let's say now the instrument is going to be available as what? 
clinicalinvesting.com. Okay, it's daily. I can, of course, do weekly, monthly, and you can customize and uh, let's say three days bar. Okay, so in three days bar, you will have a template that nobody else is using. So any, any strategy you build on this template is uh, basically not used by other people, which is a huge advantage. And of course, daily, everybody is using it. And you can use it normally as in any other instrument. So I hope that was useful to you. Uh, please uh, comment or ask any questions down below and I will see you in other videos.